Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you may be in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals. And today we are reviewing the Waldorf PPG Wave 3.V synth. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> and um, this is an emulator of a synthesizer from the 80s developed by Wolfgang Palm. And yeah, this was a really, really popular synthesizer that was on a lot of different records and really inspired a lot of people and inspired me actually as well. It's a very, very cool synth. I'm a sucker for vintage synths. I just love synths in general, <laughs> but yeah. So obviously I wanted to have a look at this plugin. Um, so yeah, it's a, it runs by itself. It's not in contact. Um, it's installed and yeah, it's very easy to just plug and play if I'm honest. And we're gonna have a look at it today. So if you're interested in deals just like this, hit the notification bell and subscribe. And yeah, let's dive right in. So hello and welcome to the PPG Wave 3.V. As you can see here, it's got a beautiful interface of an emulation of a synth. Very awesome synth, I might add. And yeah, we can see immediately we have all the sort of ways to alter the um, preset or your own preset. And obviously different buttons here, a little interface here. And we have a big space up here, which you can see will be filled with, obviously what we, put, what we click on here. So to access this interface, we're clicking up here and we can see right away that it is different varieties, um, options, uh, wavetables, ways to kind of alter so we can put reverb, delay, chorus, phaser, overdrive. Um, we can alter the equalizer, which is in here. Um, modulation. There's like endless ways you can alter each sample. So this is just like the basic ones I have here, a good 63, not well, more than 63 of them actually. Um, to access more of these, we can go into Browse and the local library, we can see <laughs> quite a lot of presets. So if we double click on this one, it will bring up these and we can see them here. Or if you want, you can easily access them up here as well. <laughs> Cheesy PPG, let's have a look at this one. Um, so we can go back into there, we can edit this easily, we can turn on the arpeggiator. Maybe not that one. <laughs> also we have the sort of group channels here, um, which you can easily customise them into whatever you want. So I've chosen this one up here. Um, if you notice the channels here, I found the way, best way to stack them is to change them all to channel 1. There may be an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I have figured out how to do it. Um, so this way you can stack up to 8 here. And it is awesome. So I bring them all down. Obviously those, those don't really go together. But yeah, so um, at the moment if I just want one of them I can solo it. And obviously we can add in arpeggiator if we want to. We can change to different versions, so... Good. So already you can just muck around with it, you can add in the different different sounds. True PPG. Of course you want that. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, stacking is quite easy with this. Um, you can also alter the volume of it. Um, but yeah, these are the kind of presets up here. 
Um, so looking down here, there's also the, the wavetable you can adjust yourself. So we can muck around with this if we want to. different ways to muck around with that. Um, going back in, again, plenty of other presets. I also found these, which are incredibly vintage sounding instruments. So here we go, we have <laughs> trombone if we want to. So. <laughs> Very vintage sounding things here. If you want to go all the way back to the 80s. Oops. <laughs> I mean, that does creep me out a little bit, but there are some really cool ones. Um, I have toy pianos. Now, as someone who writes video game music, having something sort of really vintage sounding like that could be very useful depending on the game you're writing. I don't know why, but I'm getting Zelda vibes. Um. <laughs> Loving it. Um, I have figured out a way if you recall the bank, it does reset. So I went to recall bank and it reset back to the way it was. Um, yeah. yeah, so there we go. It's back to the way it was. And yeah, so I mean, that was just a quick overview. Um, I like to sort of pick a sample and explore and try and sort of like fiddle around with all the different things. Um, we have obviously lots to sort of choose from and obviously the group, I really do like the group channels um, just to kind of stack things. Stacking is always good if you want to get more unique kind of sound. So fantastic. So we're going to go and have a listen to the track that I made just now. Um, so I hope you enjoy and yeah. Okay, here we go. So I had a little go of playing around with the synth and trying to use a variety of different styles to kind of give you an overview of what it sounds like. Um, so a couple of kind of synths that I use, I use a lot of bass. A lot of the time I doubled up the bass to try and make a bigger kind of sound. I mean, it sounds great, um, but I also just doubled it up a little bit just to give it more of a punch. Um, so I was using quite a lot of the same one, but I just tweaked it a little bit. So this was a really good bass. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I did to it now actually, but um, I was just playing around with a few of the effects. Um, let me turn the overdrive on, there you go. Um, yeah, so just, I used it for quite a basic kind of sound. So I think they're pretty much all the same, but panned a few of them just to kind of give a bigger sound. So if we just listen to the bass only.
yeah, it's got quite a, a rich sort of sound to it. I like it. I really, I really do like this sort of like I'm a big fan of bass anyway. <laughs> you can tell I'm just a big fan of music. But yeah, so I mean, I mean layered together. Oh, layered together. There's quite a. Just layering a couple of them. Good sound to that. Um. Anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, Did that with the bass synth wise. I mean, I used a couple of my own drums were from Splice really. <laughs> Percussion isn't my strong suit, but Splice is fantastic. Not here to demo that though. Um, but just to kind of give it something to play against. Um, Synth-wise, I used a few different ones. I was a big fan of the original <laughs> like preset, as you can see. Um, I thought it sounded very 80s, which is great, because this is what the kind of synth is. Um, hang on. So there's this one. I do like this little interface. It kind of gives you the real kind of feeling that you're playing an actual synth, <laughs> which is what you want. Um, very good emulation anyway. Um, I added a little bit of reverb to this one. Now up to you, your preference. There is some built-in reverb. Um, if I can find it, where is it again? Uh -huh. There it is there. So there's some built- I actually have that one as well. Um, but I added my own little reverb on top of that to kind of kind of give, what kind of sound was I doing again? You know when you just have so many tracks you've forgotten what each one does and even though you've named them all, which is rare for me, I get, I get a little bit lazy sometimes with tracks, um, you're like, I, I still don't know which one it is. So I put a bit of a filter on this to start with as well, to kind of fade it in. get the idea. So I don't know why I just chose to do one track reverb, but I did, and that's where we're at with that. Um, but if we layer all the synths together, I just love the way all of them, all of them sound really. <laughs> so there's yeah, some really nice kind of 80s sounds there, especially I love this one here, um, which is another one of the presets. Um, there's quite a few presets to choose from. Um, this one, in fact there's a lot of presets to choose from. So obviously there's the arpeggio. Um, I, feel, I have a feeling this one was already... Oh, listen to that. Love that. I'm a sucker for an arpeggio. Um, but yeah, plenty of, plenty of variety of things you can do to each preset. Um, so yeah. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this, head over to Audio Plugin Deals for 89% off and this PPG Wave 3.V synthesizer by Waldorf. And I really hope you enjoy using it just as much as I have. <laughs>